Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 3 super important question from ACA which is regarding the arbitrations. There are two types of arbitrations which we will be discussing. What are the key points in that and the functions regarding that we will be discussing in depth. So make sure watch the video till the end and before starting make sure the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and without wasting any more time let's get started. So before describing what is arbitrations you have to uh, actually uh, describe what is bus arbiter because bus is the main thing in this um, concept. Okay. So uh, the question can be as follows for 10 marks. Uh, explain central and distributed arbitrations what is arbitration arbitration means assigning something okay you have some books if you are assigning some books to some person to read that is called as arbitration here also will be assigning some task to something that is called as arbitration there are two types central and distributed to give you a brief information about what is central and distributed central means there will be a central authority who will be assigning the task to everything and uh, that is called a central arbitration distributed means what like just like democracy not everyone will be involved in uh, choosing the leader or something right that is called as distributed arbitration. Before that, you have to write a few keywords regarding bus arbitration. Bus arbitration is the process by which the current bus master accesses and then leaves the control of the bus and passes it to another bus requesting processor unit. Every bus who will be assigned, they will be having the control to the processor and they will be using that processor to do some stuffs. And whenever their task gets over, they will be assigning that task to someone else like some other bus and they will be leaving the uh, bus. Okay, That is called as bus arbitration. Another thing is the control, uh, the controller that has access to a bus at an instance is called as bus master. At a particular instance, which uh, thing has the access that is called as the bus master. Okay. And if any conflicts may arise between the number of DMA controllers, direct memory access controllers, if there is a conflict arising, the conflict has to be resolved, right? How does the conflict has to be resolved? Uh, by using the uh, common bus at the same time, but the access can be given to only one of those. Only one of those access can be given. So uh, how we will be deciding which bus uh, the next access has to be given for that only there are two things central and distributed arbitrations only one processor or controller can be bus master at the uh, same point of time at one time there can be only one master they cannot be hundred masters okay to resolve this conflict bus arbitration procedure is implemented to coordinate the activities of all the devices requesting memory transfers the memory has to be transferred for that there has to be a master who is supervising which memory has been transferred how much process is going on for the selection of who will do that stuff that uh, for that two things are there central and distributed the selection of the bus uh, master must take into account the needs of the various uh, devices that's another key point the bus should not just blindly tell which uh, uh, memory transfer should take place it should take into account the needs of the various devices establishing a priority system for gaining access to the bus the bus has to be gained an access for that there is a priority and second priority is which transfer will take place at which point of time that is also decided by the bus so let's have a look the bus arbiter decides who will become the current bus master now what is bus arbiter they will be decided by two approaches. The centralized bus arbitration, a single bus arbiter performs the required arbitration, means who is the bus master at the current time. They will be deciding who will become the next bus master in the next iteration. That is the centralized bus arbitration. And the second one is distributed bus arbitration. All the devices participating in the selection of the bus master will be involved and they will be selecting who is to be assigned the next bus master. When they will be assigned the next bus master, the uh, new bus master will be performing the task which is supposed to be performed. That's all. Make sure the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.